Well, I'm out here coyote hunting with Devin today. So far, we've got the one. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we figured that, uh, you know, maybe it's a good time to film another video here. I know there's a couple of really popular questions that people like to ask. Um, and one of them is, you know, what's the best call sequence to use or to start out with? Um, and the second one is how long do you sit per stand? So let's answer a couple of those questions right now. How long do you usually, you know, sit per stand? 15 minutes unless I really like the spot and it's been like really productive over the years. Yeah. And then in case the most I've ever maybe sat 25 minutes. Yeah. In a spot that I know has coyotes that produces like, yeah. repeatedly. So what are some factors that you think about before determining like, hey, maybe I can sit a little bit longer at this stand? If I've shot them there in the past, if I've seen them there in the past, if uh, all those kind of things, like even just once in a while you just get that feeling that like maybe I should just sit a little longer if it's calm, first one in the morning usually too. What I usually do for sequences, start with a like a howler like location, know if there's one in the area, and if there's one in the area then I'll change it to rabbit in distress or go to uh, so even some weird one sometimes if it's a spot that I've hunted more than once, I'll go to like woodpecker in distress or raccoon in distress or something that's in the area like just to change it up because a lot of times you start with the rabbit and you can go from there they get they get pretty smart yeah. right especially if you're hunt, pounding the same spot a few times yeah. so they'll they'll get used to what your exact cottontail in distress sounds like and yeah. like they'll just know that it's oh it's that guy again he shot my buddy last time <laughs> right the um, time you see him come yeah. across the field and stop at five six seven hundred yards and just sit there and yeah the only reason to make sense it doesn't you know they're not coming in like they can't see you can't smell yeah so they're coming in because they don't like some yeah yeah and for me usually I'll, I'll do a stand for like i don't know 20 minutes or so um sometimes if it's like just really dead quiet you're not hearing any vocals back or anything like that maybe 15 like this stand just now mm -hmm. we, we stood this one for 15 minutes yeah 15 16 minutes something like that and uh no responses we didn't hear anything not even birds out here so yeah we're we're picking it up and we're moving um longest usually for me maybe an hour and for me the factors that it depends on is like one is the pressure um how pressured is that area how how smart are the coyotes out in that area how many like you know how much how many times have you been there how many times do other people go there so pressure is definitely a factor um in a more pressured area sometimes they'll take a little bit longer and you'll have to like Devin was saying you have to mix up the sounds a little bit so it's not always the same one that you're using um, and another another factor as well is weather and wind conditions so like deeper snow that like kind of how it is mm -hmm. not in this particular area the snow in this area is actually not too bad but sometimes you get into an area where it's like knee-deep snow well it's going to take them a, a little bit longer to get to to get closer to you from from where they're coming from so spots like that i'll tend to stay a little bit longer um another one is maybe wind right mm -hmm. and another thing about wind is your call volume yeah i always start out at like volume eight um, for a spot like this like the bush lines around where we're trying trying to call them from is maybe about i don't know what 300 yards i think 300 would be the furthest that they'd... 300 would be the about the furthest so start off with volume eight and uh yeah and just maybe work it up from there and i only got up to about volume 13 over here in this particular spot but hey if you're calling in like a big open field like in a farm you got to crank that volume up a little bit more especially if it's like a windier day yeah then you might even get up to like you know volume 20 22 23 24 depends how windy it is really and um they might be coming in from hell like a thousand yards away yeah like today you can hear the the vehicles a mile and a half away like they're right beside you sometimes you're we sitting you can hear it like i thought it was coming down the road but it's just them on the highway a mile and a half away so it sounds traveling really good today yeah because it's be like loud. dead calm there's no wind today yeah. so that's another factor that uh that we take into consideration when it comes to to calling call volume and stuff like that so but uh yeah i know there's a ton more subjects to cover for this particular topic with coyote hunting but i am just gonna you know do it for today hopefully we answered some of your guys's questions out there and hopefully you found it helpful if you did hit the like button um we're hoping to get more coyote content out there like we don't always go out and film that's the problem 
um, and sometimes when we kill them is when we're not filming. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, yeah, we're hoping to get more coyote content this winter for you guys. I know you guys enjoy that on the channel. So um, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.